afternoon this mass is being offered for the following intention archdiocese of visakhapatnam saluru parish this mass is offered for divyavani tv corpus fund donors samuel sundar and velangani mary Sandhya Rani, on the occasion of birthday of Velangani Mary Sandhya Rani, for good health of all family members and good future of children, thanking God for all the graces received by Samuel Sundar, Cherry, Sweetie, Vijaya Ratnam, Asuntam, Anita, Vinni, Kanni, Miyagi, Bunni. Today's Rosary, Divine Mercy Chaplet, Word of God, Holy Hour are also offered for this family and their intentions. Let us pray for this intention during this Holy Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today Jesus criticizes the Pharisees and Sadducees for the life they had been living. Jesus noticed in their lives their anti religiosity they follow religion but they do not follow God's ways that's why he condemns them he says they have to correct their ways and life sometimes today in the present world we resemble Pharisees and Sadducees. Sometimes we think that we are following the ways of God, but we don't really accept and 
we don't really see the human realities the poor who are living with us today god jesus invites all of us to repent for all the sins we have committed and ask the lord for forgiveness and his mercy i confess to almighty god and you my, my brothers, brothers and, and sisters, sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what i have done and in what i have failed to do through my faults through my faults through my most grievous faults therefore i ask bless me mary our virgin all the angels and saints and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy let us pray be your grace o lord we pray at all times go before us and follow after and make us always determined to carry out good works through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen, amen. first reading a reading from the letter of saint paul to the ephesians Ephesians chapter 1 verses 1 to 10 Paul an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God to the saints who are in Ephesus and are faithful in Christ Jesus grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ blessed be God and father of our lord jesus christ who have blessed us in christ with very spiritual blessing in the heavenly places even as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and blameless before him in love he predestined us for adopting to himself as sons through Jesus Christ according to the purpose of his will to the praise of his glorious grace with which he has blessed us in the beloved in him we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of our trespasses according to the riches of his grace which he lavished upon us in all wisdom and insight making known to us the mystery of his will according to his purpose which he set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time to unite all things in him things in heaven and things on earth word of the lord thanks, thanks be to god lord. your response The Lord has made the Lord has made known his salvation known his salvation O sing a new song to the Lord for he has worked wonders his right hand and his holy arm have brought salvation your response the Lord has made the Lord has made known his salvation known his salvation the Lord has made known his salvation has chosen his deliverance to the nations he has remembered his merciful love and his truth for the house of israel your response the lord has made the lord has made known his salvation known his salvation all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our god shout to the lord all the earth break forth into joy song and sing out your praise 
your response the lord has made the lord has made known his salvation known his salvation According to Saint Luke, glory to you, O Lord. Chapter eleven, verses forty-seven to fifty-four. At that time, Jesus said, "O to you, for you build the tombs of the prophets." whom your fathers killed so you are witnesses and you consent to the deeds of your fathers for they killed them and you build their tombs therefore also the wisdom of god said i will send them prophets and apostles some of whom they will kill and persecute so that the blood of all the prophets shed from the foundation of the world may be charged against this generation from the blood of abel to the blood of zechariah who perished between the altar and the sanctuary yes i tell you it will be required of this generation what to you lies for you have taken away the key of knowledge you did not enter yourselves and you hindered those who were entering as he went away from there the scribes and the pharisees began to press him hard and to provoke him to speak about many things lying in wait for him to catch him in something he might say the gospel of the lord praise to you lord, lord jesus christ, christ. my dear brothers and sisters today in the first reading st paul says to the ephesians we should be holy and blameless before him he says we are destined we are called to live a spiritual life and today in the gospel reading jesus criticizes the pharisees and sadducees because he noticed their way of life 
is not the way god wants them to do or god wants them to live jesus points out their life they think by giving tithes and asking the people to respect them and they think that they are above everybody they are better people than other people they think that they are holy other people are unholy because they think that they are the law makers they can do anything but today jesus condemns this attitude of the pharisees and sadducees he says your way of life is not correct you have to mold your life you have to change your life you are doing injustice to the people you are not following the will of god you do all external things ritual things and great deeds but you forget two things in your life that is love of god and love of neighbor the way you worship god is not correct way because all your actions you do it will become they think that everything should come to you not to god your actions you do is not the way god wants you to do you draw all your all the attention of the people to yourself not to god he condemns them and the way you worship is not the way god wants you to do because god is the truth he says and another thing you forget the people who are living with you you don't even have love of your neighbors you don't have a love mercy compassion towards the poor and the needy but you always ill treat them you suppress them you always do injustice to them that's why jesus condemns them and also he says you people have killed the prophets god sent to you and your ancestors have done this killing and you are building the tombs for them that you think that you are the great people my dear brothers and sisters today jesus condemns this attitude this way of life and he invites them to come into their senses to realize what they are doing is wrong and that's why he says to them i am the light of the world whoever comes to me will never walk in darkness jesus says you come and follow me and secondly he says you also should be the light of the world you should be the salt of the earth you should have this essence of salt in you that is justice peace righteousness love mercy and compassion towards the neighbor especially for the poor and needy that is the meaning god jesus challenges them you should be the salt of the earth they should have this essence 
and jesus says you should be the light that is what what he meant for that you should guide the people in correct way you should follow the truth and you should allow the people to follow the truth as the leaders you are supposed to do these kind of things and my dear brothers and sisters when we see the present world or society today the same thing hap- is happening in the church and in the political field the leaders of the church and the leaders of the political country the are living in the same way as pharisees and sadducees lived and they don't have any love for the poor people and they impose laws for other people but they never follow them they ill treat the people poor people and they condemn them but they never follow just they never give justice to the world that's why st paul says today to the ephesians be holy as your father is holy we should have that essence when we have this kind of holiness in us we will do we will do good things to others that's why jesus tells today you sh- should not the, even today its world especially to the leaders he says follow my ways i am the truth i am the way i am the life you should give life to me you should sacrifice your life for the service of god for service of kingdom of god you should show the way to the people my dear brothers and sisters today let us it is our duty to pray for the world leaders either in the church either in the political parties in the countries it is our obligation to pray for the leaders so that they may have love mercy compassion towards the poor and also they may establish justice peace equality fraternity among the society it society depends on the leaders the way they give importance to the society the way they serve the society the society will be like that if we don't follow the leaders don't follow the proper ways society will not be in a good position today it is our obligation jesus says to each one of us also we have to be living according to the will of god and jesus also says let your light shine before others so that others may see your good works and glorify god my father in heaven we have to do good works in our day to day life either leaders or citizens everybody should do good works that that is the light of the world that is the way we shine our light to the world especially christians christian leaders those who follow christ should be the example to other society because we follow christ christ is our light and we also should should shine our light to other other people that is the way jesus expects from all of us today let us not be like pharisees and sadducees let us follow christ the message and the messenger he is the message he is the word of god he himself is the messenger we should have that 
we should have that intention and we should follow Jesus in our day to day life and give light to the society. Let us pray for this intention and ask God if at all we have done anything wrong against society, against our brothers and sisters, let us ask God to forgive us. And let us also ask God to send His Spirit upon us so that we may live holy and blameless before God. That should be our prayer today. God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all, all his holy, holy church. church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and every way to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and re Redeemer, incarnated by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling our will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured, endured his passion, so he has to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullest of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Paul Anthony, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the serious command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this, this day our, our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the, the power, power, and the glory are yours, now and, and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said you are apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. In the receiving of the body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, and bring me to the smith and condemnation, but we will have mercy before me. Be 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ bring it into life to us to receive it. Amen. Prayer of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come into my heart spiritually. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself to you wholly. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. We entreat your majesty, most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit May Almighty God bless you The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit Amen The Mass is ended Let us go and serve the Lord Thanks, Thanks be to be God, God. Yeah.